This week, we will discuss campus safety, plus how scholars feel about their Greek organizations. This is Century News. From the broadcast studio in the Department of Mass Communication at North Carolina Central University, this is Central News. I'm Shadeja Pittman. Thank you for tuning in. During the first home game, the university experienced a shooting. Naki Martin dived more into the story. Thank you. This was the first emergency that happened on Central Campus, and hopefully the last. Some students were shocked, and others not even phased. NCCU is known to being in the middle of three different projects, McDougal, East Durham, and PT. Although we can't assume that this situation was caused by these environments, we still have to wonder if students are being aware of the circumstances. Uh, we always tell students to walk in pairs. But more importantly, what I do observe when I'm walking around campus is students aren't, so, aren't aware of their surroundings. And I'll give you an example. If you're walking around campus and you're looking at your iPhone and you have both of your ear, ear pods in your ears, then you don't know what's around you and you can't see what's coming or what's happening, and that's just, that creates an unsafe environment. Um, it's, we, we try to remind students that we do live in a major metropolitan area, and that comes with have taken on some personal responsibility for your safety, uh, while we also work to ensure your safety while you're here on campus. Some students look at this event as part of life and feel safe on campus because they make sure to do their part in ensuring their safety. Uh, I feel comfortable being on campus because I look at it as this is just stuff that happens in life. So, you know, you should always just take safe precautions. Like, I never walk around alone. I make sure I have a friend, especially at night. I walk with a group so that, you know, if we needed to help each other, we can. On the other hand, you have some students that don't feel as safe despite their individual efforts to ensure their safety. So I feel like campus safety, it's not the best, but it's decent. Um, they do patrol the campus as much as they should, but with everything going on, they're not aware. Despite the different opinions, the facts remain the same. The NCCU are doing their jobs to ensure the safety of students and faculty. Having a police station on campus, which everyone has access to, hourly patrols, and emergency towers around campus. It's not only up to the university to ensure the safety of students, but up to the students to keep their head on the swivel. You heard it here first. Reporting for Central News, Nike Martin. I'm positive campus will ensure the safety of students and faculty. Thanks, Nike. The NPHC is one of the organizations that hosts Greek life on campus. Zenobia checked more into the story. Many students come to the Greek boat to hang out and talk on nice days. You might even get a chance to see some Greeks strolling. Seeing someone's plot invaded may upset the whole crowd. Greek plots are physical proof of fraternity and sorority life on campuses. Members work hard to create and bring uniqueness to their plot. Ooh, the plot represents a lot. It's really like your birthright. It really shows that, okay, this particular area is sacred to this particular chapter and what they serve on campus. Greeks affected by students stepping on their plot tend to keep an open mind and want to educate people on the importance of respect. Being a part of that community, it will put you around a lot of good people who will help you and guide you through college so that you can be successful. Joining Greek life is not easy. There are requirements set by the school as well as the organization. Everyone does not make it in. Everyone does not get a chance to step on a plot. Some organizations will invite others onto their plot, mainly close family and friends. We go on there for rebeautification and then we go like to hang out with each other, to socialize. Students who are able to gain their letters remain a scholar before they are a Greek. Respect their organizations as you would want yours to be treated. Reporting for Central News, Zenobia Dowdy. We hope students can continue to respect the yard. Thanks, Zenobia. Karate is now an Olympic sport. Can a sport that's violent have a positive effect on the community? Spiro chopped more into the story. Thank you. I'm here outside of Vanguard Karate wondering if a martial art can be used to help the community. In 2021, karate became an Olympic sport. However, karate has been recognized as a sport for a very long time, and one with benefits other sports can't quite match. I sat down with Sensei Gary Crawford to see if his teaching was positively affecting the community. Oh, I get, uh, look, I know it is, I have receipts. 
people don't people don't know people don't care what you know and so they know that you care so i think that in my way of you know instilling discipline and structure and focus those things that you can somehow get from other activities but you know say basketball football where you knock a person over and you bark over them not here we bow you know there's respect it's okay to not fight you know it's okay to walk away with dignity and dignity and explain to yourself why you care not to fight when asked about what he thought concerning karate in the olympics sensei crawford had this to say just a tradition of of karate it was fantastic fantastic karate is not just a great physical exercise but a mental and an emotional one too reporting with central news this is spiro trance thanks spiro this has been Century News. Make sure you tune in next Friday at 12. And Eagles, remember to soar high.